Welcome all to the MOSFET problem solving lecture series. So in this series, we are going to directly solve the questions without updating any uh, concepts into our knowledge. So here, I will be bringing all those concepts, whatever that are required in order to crack the each and every question. So I'm requesting you all to watch the entire playlist. Once you complete, then automatically you will be able to solve all questions which are related to MOSFET. And you don't need to make separate notes at all. Everything will be stored in your mind because the way we are going to solve the problems will let you, <coughs> will let you all to understand the uh, pattern of the questions that are being framed from the MOSFET very well. So let us start up with the first question. So if you observe the question carefully, the given question is, just to uh, read the question, in the figure, the n-channel MOSFET are identical. So if you observe the figure, there are two MOSFETs are given, let me name them MOSFET 1 and MOSFET 2. So they have given two n-channel MOSFETs and they also told that they are identical to each other. Okay sir, fine. After that, if you observe, they have given two more conditions also. If the value of drain to source voltage that is called VDS, VDS means D denotes drain, S denotes source. So drain to source voltage is less than gate to source voltage minus VT, VT denotes threshold voltage. So if the value of VDS is less than VGS minus VT, then the value of drain current basically ID denotes indicates the current that is going from drain to source. So that current will be equal to VGS minus 1 into VDS minus VDS square by 2 milliampere. That is what they have given. And second what they are telling is if the value of VDS, suppose if the drain to source voltage will become greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, then the drain current will become VGS minus whole square milliampere. So they are they have given all the data and they are telling us to calculate the value of IDC. Observe the diagram, where is IDC? IDC is clearly indicated, uh, sorry, it's, it's clearly given in the question. If you observe the diagram, this is the value of IDC. So we have to identify the current flow through this branch. So what we need to do? First of all, we have to observe the region of the operation. So let me tell you, if you, uh, whenever you are considering the MOSFET, MOSFET can be operated in three regions. So what are those, what are all those three regions? So let me tell you briefly. So first, they are talking about N-channel MOSFET. Yes, sir. First of all, there are two type of MOSFET. One is N-channel MOSFET and another one is P-channel MOSFET. So when we are talking about the N-channel MOSFET, the indication of the N-channel MOSFET is it will be represented. This is the symbolic representation of the N-channel MOSFET. And here we will be having three terminals. One is called gate terminal, another one is called drain terminal and another one is called source terminal. So totally we will be having three terminals here. And the next thing is if you observe in case of N-channel MOSFET, current will always flow from drain to source. Okay, sir. And uh, in N channel MOSFET, always current will be indicated in a uh, source point. If the current is going out of the source, then that is called N channel MOSFET. Suppose if they are reversing the direction of the current, same in uh, same source channel, in the same source terminal, if the direction of the current is reversed, if it is given in the reversed direction, then that will be considered as P channel MOSFET. Anyway, here if you observe the question, so they have given always current direction will be given only at one terminal that terminal is called source. In the source terminal if the current is going out of the terminal then the channel is called what? N channel MOSFET. So it is clearly indicated in our question also. First conclusion we understood. Next uh, basically MOSFET will be having three channels uh, sorry three terminals one is drain D indicates drain another one is source another one is gate. In N channel current will be driving from, we are driving the current from drain to source. That current will be simply called ID. Next thing, in case of MOSFET, we are not injecting any current through the gate. So we can keep the value of gate current is always equal to 0 ampere. Then how we are controlling this MOSFET sir? MOSFET can be controlled with the help of gate to source voltage. Here we are injecting in between gate to source, we are trying to inject the voltage, we are not injecting the current. So MOSFET can be controlled with the help of voltage. So that's why it is called voltage controlled device. Whereas if you compare this with a BJT, 
in bipolar junction transistor we are controlling the device current with the help of what current that's why bjt is called current control device whereas in mosfet the value of gate current is always zero but we are controlling this device with the help of gate to source voltage that's why it is called voltage controlled device that is the first conclusion okay sir next uh, there are certain equations as i said our mosfet can be operated in three regions yes sir what are all those regions so let me highlight them one by one the first region is cutoff region cutoff region means our system is uh, completely off so that is called cutoff region in case of cutoff region if we observe gate to source voltage this voltage goes less than the value of threshold voltage of course even if it is equal to 80 also your device is about to turn on but it is not turn on it is the border so what is the conclusion gate to source voltage if if the value of gate to source voltage is less than threshold voltage means device is not uh, turn on still it is in cut off region that is called off state this state is called off state of the mosfet okay sir this is called off state of the mosfet fine sir we understood that and uh, here vt indicate the threshold voltage as i already told you that what is the meaning of threshold voltage that is minimum amount of voltage required to turn on your device so if the gate to source voltage is crossing this threshold voltage then automatically mosfet will turn on if it is less than the threshold voltage then mosfet will not turn on so that is cut off region in cut off region we can say the current that is flowing from drain to source is zero ampere current will not flow because device is in off state let us take the second region the second region is simply considered as linear region when we are taking the linear region what will happen the this, this linear region sometimes it is also called triode region okay sir so in case of triode region what will be happening is if we are considering gate to uh, source voltage it will be crossing threshold voltage first condition to turn on it is already turn on if you are in linear region in the sense gate to source voltage will become greater than vt then what is the expression for the value of vds now it's time to observe the value of drain to source voltage when our mosfet is being operated in linear region that is in triode region the value of drain to source voltage is less than the value of gate to source voltage minus threshold voltage that is the very important condition after that the third thing is now we have to write the expression for drain to source current i am simply writing it as id so drain to source current can be simply written as mu n c ox omega upon l into in bracket we are writing the expression vgs minus vt whole square into vds sorry here as uh, one minute it should be uh, again reduced it should be vds square by 2 then you can close the whole bracket and uh, one more thing will come that is 1 plus lambda times of vds here lambda is called channel length modulation in your examination 95 percentage this channel length modulation will not be given it means you have to assume that the value of lambda equal to zero suppose in any exam if they give the value of lambda then you can consider this factor otherwise you can neglect this you can consider only remaining part of the equation okay sir so this is the complete uh, details about the linear region suppose if the same n channel mosfet is being operated in the third region so let us we are entering into third region that is called saturation region suppose if our mosfet will be entered into saturation region then what are all the conditions uh, need uh, required sir so when it is entering into saturation region we can take vgs as usual it will be greater than vt okay sir fine and uh, second thing will be will be what will happen is drain to source voltage will become greater than or equal to the value of vgs minus vt okay sir after that now the third expression if you take the value of drain current this can be further will become mu n c ox into omega upon 2 times of l into in bracket we will be writing directly vgs minus vt whole square sir how it happened 
see we are taking the same expression same drain current only but here if you observe vds is minimum equal to in saturation region vds is minimum equal to vgs minus vt so wherever you have vds if you replace it by vgs minus vt automatically this expression will get compressed into this form and as usual here also one more parameter will come 1 plus lambda times of vds but as i promised that in 95 percentage in your examination simply keep keep in your mind like that if the value of lambda is not given lambda is basically called channel length modulation calculation in order to calculate the channel length modulation we are using that parameter if it is not given you can directly consider that value is zero so you can neglect this whole parameter consider only remaining uh, parameter Okay, I hope you all understood. So, these are all the things basically that we need to keep it in our mind when we are trying to solve the problems uh, which are related to N channel MOSFET. Now, it is time to solve our question. Just to keep these things in your mind, in the next lecture, we will solve this question. Okay, this is all for this lecture. Remaining things we will see in the next class. Thank you all.